Well, good morning to you. We are in Temple, Texas, where we expect the National Weather Service this morning to confirm that a tornado touched down here on Wednesday evening. We are along West Adams Avenue here in town. This is a road that's used by a ton of businesses. The electricity is out and businesses on both sides of the road substantially impacted by this twister when it comes to damage. And the debris really tells the story. Take a look at this stop sign here. It is just bent over like that like a toothpick by Mother Nature when she came to town on Wednesday evening. Look at the debris that's in this driveway of this Sefco. The power pole pushed over with ease. The sign for the gas station pushed over with ease. And there's power lines lying all through the parking lot of this Sefco. Take a look at this abandoned truck. We were told that this thing was actually in the twister, pushed around by it at the very least, and someone was inside. There's dents all alongside it. The windows have been blown out, at least for the doors. And look at the debris that's on the inside on the front here, uh, the front passenger and the driver's seat. Glass shards, there's leaves, there's a ton of other debris in there. The airbags deployed. And walk with me this way. This is what we're seeing all along West Adams Avenue, the metal carnage. This looks like a road sign that was just uh, right here on the side of the road, and it was pushed over by all of these winds. You can capture this with the naked eye when you go up and down West Adams. And Nathan Cross, just before all this went down, it captured this. Video of that nasty tornado seen from the ground Wednesday night, a resident even sharing this photo with us. It was a very intimidating 15 minutes, you know, it was the power of God and power of storms is significant. Scott Martin was inside a restaurant along West Adams with his family and took cover in its walk in freezer with customers and staff. When those lines hit the front windshield, the air pressure on the inside actually blew out my back window. His navigator in a vice grip underneath down power lines. You still don't ever want to touch them. So, because you could still get shocked quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's going to take a couple of weeks to clean up all this stuff, and I'm going to try as much as I can to be up here. And Matthew Perry drove in from Copper's Cove to help with the cleanup. This is how much he gathered in just a few hours. Homes have been impacted too off of Honeysuckle right here. The neighborhood behind me, more than a dozen homes structurally damaged, potentially a lot more. We just don't have an official count. We can't go beyond here because the neighborhood is closed. Utilities are down. Search and rescue is happening, but we can see this house with a light on it. Part of the roof is missing. The front of it is structurally damaged. That just gives a little bit of a glimpse into what this neighborhood dealt with Wednesday evening. But look to the right of me right here. This is a building, a business that is just near buy all of these homes and it has been decimated. The roof has been blown off. There's debris all in the parking lot. As we said, Mother Nature making herself known Wednesday evening. We'll see a lot more of it when the sun comes up. In Temple, I'm Matt Howerton.